So the bias in Canada's liberal-leaning legacy media outlets is it's hardly new or surprising. I mean, what does one expect when the government dangles hundreds of millions of tax dollars in front of them, much like a person holding a piece of bacon to make a dog sit up and beg? The legacy media outlets are in Trudeau boosting overdrive this week, as most of Canada's aspiring politicians do their annual pilgrimage to the Calgary Stampede. It's the one time a year when uh, Albertans can feel loved by their federal political masters. The other 51 weeks, eh, not so much. Now, the Globe and Mail outdid themselves with a headline saying, Trudeau mobbed by admirers at a stampede pancake breakfast. The image depicted a manically grinning Trudeau, gloriously indulging in selfies with fawning admirers at the event. Oh, it was something. Oh, but wait. The Winnipeg Free Press had the exact same headline. This sort of the Lethbridge Herald. Oh, and CP24. And oh, there were all sorts of others. You can see in that picture that Nico put up there. Yes, there were likely uh, more that we didn't even find. But I think I've made my point. Try to do a little work, you guys. I mean, the reason Trudeau was surrounded by admirers at the event is because it was staged. Nobody aside from a small group directly in touch with his lone member of parliament, George Chahal, even knew he was coming. People were quietly bussed into the event and instructed to crowd around Trudeau for the pictures. Look, I don't fault the liberal organizers for staging the event. That's the way the game's played. The stampede is a must-go for politicians, and it doesn't look good if they shun it. And if the event had been publicly announced, Trudeau would have been mobbed by protesters and hecklers. It's Calgary. It's not fertile ground for him. If I was a liberal strategist, and I don't suspect that's going to ever happen, by the way, I would have done the same thing. It's the weak, complicit mainstream media I'm revolted with. They used the CP story and didn't even bother to change the headline. It's cut-and-paste journalism, and it indicates two things. One is laziness on the part of the legacy media outlets and their efforts, their efforts to endure them, uh, endear themselves to the Liberal Party of Canada. Only one or two reporters were tipped off to attend the event, of course. They were clearly liberal-friendly ones. They wanted to keep the news of the event tight. Where were the other legacy reporters anyway? Well, they came out to the Conservative Party barbecue in droves. The headlines were rather different, though. I mean, look at this gem from the CBC. How a Conservative Party barbecue became Pierre Polyev's red meat cookout. The piece then reported on pins being handed out. and One said, hands off my six-shooter. Or another one said, more Alberta, less Ottawa. And of course, it was reported by Mr. Markusoff in hushed tones. And all hat, no cattle, or buck off Trudeau was even seen there. It was noted that Sheree got a few boos as well and pretty much went on to imply it was a redneck gathering of borderline extreme Polyev supporters. Quite a difference in coverage from one event to another, isn't it? The reporting has gone on for, this kind of reporting has gone on for years and it works. It's little wonder the Liberals keep spending more and more tax dollars fostering it. Does anybody remember the beauty in 2016? That was just awesome. When the Trudeau Liberals staged an event in front of a chalkboard covered with random formulas and Trudeau then recited a carefully rehearsed statement on quantum computing to a room of cheering, giggling supporters. I'm surprised they didn't give him some glasses with a little tape on the bridge of it to make him look a, a little more like a classic bookworm. The event was cheesy enough to warrant it. The Liberals were trying to knock down the growing impression among Canadians that Trudeau is a, a moron. And again, they can't be blamed for working to convince uh, Trudeau as a cerebral support of guy, sort of guy, though. I mean, it's a monumental task. It failed, and the Liberals went back to showing pictures of Trudeau shirtless or impulsively crashing weddings. Again, though, it wasn't the liberal actions that were galling. It's how the mainstream media obliges them. Information is everything, and the authoritarian Trudeau government wants to control it. Bill C-11 and C-18 are testaments to that. The purchase of the Canadian media corps, though, is the most repugnant of their actions. Legacy media outlets dance like trained monkeys to a government organ grinder. It must be humiliating to journalists who entered the trade with dreams of doing investigative and critical, unbiased reporting. Alternative outlets like ours are filling the void. I believe in the long run, free media is going to win, even though they might need to go nearly underground at some point. It may be a tougher ride for independent, me independent media outlets like us who refuse tax funding, but it's much more satisfying and we can hold our heads high. Legacy media, they continue to embarrass themselves further with every liberal puppies.